Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is how to access the downloadable link for Adobe Creative Cloud. You can go ahead and just search for Adobe Creative Cloud. I have supplied a link here for you. We're looking for the desktop app, but if you directly click on the link that I've provided above this video on fhntoday.com slash adobe, it will bring you directly to the page that you need for this download. But you can click through here. You're looking for this red icon um, that's going to be able to bring you up the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app, which allows you to download all the programs. If you go to the corner there, the blue dot that says download, go ahead and click that and the app is going to download and it's ready to install. It's going to ask you where you want to uh, save it, so I'm just going to save this on the desktop, so when it downloads, I can go ahead and access it on my Mac here. Um, this is going to open it up. It's going to be a DMG file that I'm looking for. I found it on the desktop there. I'm going to double click on it, and I'm going to open up the app to install it. Once I double click, it's going to unpackage here. It's going to open up for me, uh, and then I'm going to get this um, icon that it just says double click to install. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, these are instructions for a Mac. I have different instructions for a PC because it's going to look a little different. Click open on that box that was just up right there, which is going to allow it to install on my computer. I need to log in and put my administrator password in to, law, um, to load a new application. So I went ahead and did that. And it's going to be working here. Uh, to go ahead and get the app installed. We will wait here a second. We see the Creative Cloud installer pops up. What we want is we want this blue dot here uh, over the sign in. That's where we want to log in. We go ahead and click that and it's going to ask us up there for an email address. So in the email address we're going to use our g.fhsd schools address. So I'm going to punch my uh, g.fhsdschools address. It cannot be a Gmail, your, your personal Gmail, or a Yahoo, or anything else you might have. It's got to be the account uh, through the school because that's what our license is tied with. So go ahead, I'll punch mine in here. Once you get done with that, what you're going to do is hit the tab or you're going to go down to password and another box is going to pop up. So this box gives you the option to uh, access Adobe or Enterprise ID. We're going to choose the Enterprise ID option because this is a school. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's actually going to bring up another login page for us. It's a Gmail uh, login. This again is not your personal. You're going to go ahead and punch in your G dot address again. So I go ahead and punch my G dot address in here. I go ahead and type in my password. I click the sign in button. It's going to ask me if I want to start installing and I do so I hit the blue oval here and start installing things. And then the installing is going to take place. You'll see it's going to take a few minutes uh, when you do it on your computer. Um, it will start working its way up the progression and then it'll get done, it'll get to 100% and it'll be done installing for you. And then what you will get is a box that says installation is complete. And then what you might need to do the first time is go into your applications folder and I have a few other things that I've already loaded on my machine here. But if you go into the Adobe Creative Cloud folder, then open up Adobe Creative Cloud. It'll be the app that's in there. You don't want to uninstall it. That's the option underneath. But open Adobe Creative Cloud. And what you're going to have is this uh, menu box is going to pop up. You're going to see in your top menu bar that Adobe Creative Cloud icon should show up up there and the applications will load in this Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app. You're going to see that there are some options up there for Behance, Stock, Assets, Learn, and Apps. As long as you're seeing that Apps as an option for you, you should be in good shape. 
uh, and uh, you have all your applications down below to install. Now, if that apps isn't right there where you see that thing, what you're going to notice is maybe you had a different install on there, and so please contact me if that's a problem. You might not have uninstalled your old version, but we have all these apps that you can choose to go in and load and install on your computer. They're all of access to you with your Creative Cloud account through the school. And uh, all you do to install, you can choose to install all of them or just selectively choose the ones you want. And that's really what you do to take care of loading and installing Adobe Creative Cloud on your computer. Please let me know if you have questions.